I'm three on your side's Gary Harper, and I've exposed the so-called job scam before, but I've come across a similar scam where the scammer actually hacks into somebody else's email and then targets you. Brianna Paredes wanted to experience life away from her Phoenix home, so she enrolled at Marquette University, way up in Wisconsin. It's nice. Um, I really like the campus too. It's downtown and it's like the heart of Milwaukee. There's a lot of restaurants, a lot of museums. But like a lot of college students, Brianna is back in Phoenix for the summer and needs a part-time job. That's the very reason she jumped online and started searching job recruiting sites, and it didn't take long before she was contacted from someone who appeared to be from her university because of the email address. I looked up some jobs, and then I received an email, and I looked at the email. I usually click the email to check who it's from, and it was from a professor, I'm guessing. In the email, the person wrote they needed a personal assistant, and the pay wasn't bad, about 400 bucks a week. They said that I would do, like, receive mail for them and pay, like, bills for them and, like, send some books to the bookstore and stuff like that. Brianna accepted the job, and once she did, she received a check, and the amount shocked her. $3,550. That $3,550 check appeared to be legitimate. It even had a hologram. Brianna followed instructions by depositing the check into her personal bank account, and then forwarded $3,100 to a so-called bookstore. She was also told to keep $400 for herself as payment. Then I was like, okay, that's kind of sketchy, you know. But this authentic looking check turned out to be fake. Brianna's bank told her it was bogus, but by that time she had already forwarded the money to the scammer and all $3,500 was drained from Brianna's bank account. That's very stressful actually, because I have to like pay my school bills and stuff. Unfortunately, Brianna had fallen for something called the job scam. In an email to three on her side, Marquette University says they are aware of the issue and that the scam affected a handful of accounts on campus when someone hacked their computer system and posed as a university employee. The university went on to say that they quickly secured the compromised email account and was able to delete all scam emails from the server. As for Brianna, the so-called job scam has been a costly lesson. It's very sad, but it's very eye-opening. It's lesson learned for sure. <laughs> this is a good reminder. If you ever receive a check and you're told to deposit the money and then forward on some of that money, you're most likely getting yourself involved in a scam. Be careful. I'm Gary Harper, three on your side.